IPCC has also made some conclusions about greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. So as, as you may remember from earlier lectures, we discussed the fact that uh, we can use ice cores and other analytical techniques to look at the concentration of greenhouse gases, specifically carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, um, dating back up to 800,000 years because some of our ice cores from Antarctica go back that far. And so we can analyze these ice cores to see how much of these gases were present in the atmosphere when that ice was deposited. And so this data tells us that um, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide are at their highest level in 800,000 years. And indeed, they are, they are increasing more recently um, at a higher rate. So carbon dioxide increases, we've concluded, are due to combustion of fossil fuels and deforestation. And you can say, well, how does deforestation change carbon dioxide levels? So for one, if there's less trees, as we cut down trees, there's less trees on Earth that can take up carbon dioxide, and they use carbon dioxide to create more plant tissue and to grow into bigger trees. Um, so if they're not taking up that carbon dioxide, then it's staying in the atmosphere. Also, often when areas are, are deforested, so the land can be used for other things, um, the trees may be burned or combusted, which releases the carbon that's in that tree as carbon dioxide, and so it further increases the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. Um, and then there's other land use, use changes that can lead to increases in carbon dioxide. So whenever we, we get rid of natural plants in an area and we put down pavement, for example, that's going to change the amount of carbon dioxide that's taken up by that area. So what does this mean for the ocean? Um, this is another graph from the IPCC report that shows that as we increase the amount of carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere, we are decreasing the pH of the oceans. And so that carbon dioxide goes into the gas, goes into water, where it is in equilibrium with carbonic acid. And carbonic acid in the oceans causes the pH to decrease and become more acidic, which is harmful to aquatic organisms living in the oceans.